Our first guest is the Emmy Award winning co-anchor of the Today Show. Please welcome Savannah Guthrie. Hi, Ellen. Hi, Savannah. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. Last time I saw you, we were both filming our shows from home, and now we're both back in our studios. And congratulations. You have now been on the Today Show for 10 years this June. I know. I can't believe it. Yeah. Ten years. I, um, I, w I was just thinking about it today, actually. When I started, you know, I wasn't married. I had no kids. I had just moved from Washington, D.C. to New York. And a lot has happened in ten years. Yeah, it's amazing that you could get married uh, getting up at three in the morning and having that kind of life, how you, you were able to meet anyone at that point is amazing. I know. Like, who would want, who would even choose this voluntarily? You're right. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was lucky. I'm lucky I'm not alone. Yes. He, and he's a, he's a great guy, too. So that's... Oh, thank you. Um, so you just got your vaccine on air. And, and so how are you with shots normally? I'm good. You know what? I didn't barely even felt it. I literally, we were live on air. It was a pr pretty cool opportunity. Once we were all eligible, we worked with the New York City Health Department, hoping to get, get the word out and spread awareness and encourage folks to get their vaccines. And the um, lovely nurse from Walgreens, Kelly, put the shot in, and I didn't even feel it. I said to her, did, did it work? Like, is, is, did you get the <laughs> medicine in? And she's like, yeah. So I, I really lucked out. I mean, I thought it was pretty darn easy. But I've had two babies, so I can take some pain. That's true. That is true. <laughs> um, you had mentioned you're out in the plaza again, but uh, live music, when is that coming back for you? We're hoping soon. I mean, you know, we always have the big summer concert series, and um, I want to say optimistically that we may have some music on the plaza soon, which I hope so, because right now it's just Hoda and I, like, on our phones being like, did you hear this song on Spotify? It's not as great. Yeah. So, yeah, I know. That's what I miss, too. I mean, uh, we, we really miss that so much, having... Because it's like our own little private concert. It's so great when we get to have that on our shows. And it's the only way I ever learn about new music. I mean, otherwise, I, I'm still listening to the Eagles' greatest hits, which is a great record. But, you know, I need some new, new stuff. Yes. Yes, and it is a great record, but there's, uh, there's new music since then, since the Eagles. <laughs> yeah. um, so yeah. you recently posted on Instagram that you got to see your mom, right? Yes, I did. She, my mom was in Arizona, and I um, hadn't seen her in 15, 16 months because, you know, she's in that age group where you, we really could not risk it. So once she got both vaccine shots and was fully vaccinated. I went out there and I was so happy to hug her. I like squeezed her so hard. I was thinking that we were going to have one of those like, re you know, big reunion moments that, you know, everybody would be like crying. And my mom was like, okay, okay, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hugs over now. Let's go on. Yeah. That's uh, but we, it was sweet. It was, it was really nice to be just back together. No, oh, that's great. That's great. And, and also, uh, you've, you're very busy. The Olympics begin in 100 days. You're going, which is very exciting. Yeah, we can't wait. It's in Tokyo. And it's kind of that moment where the world's going to get together for the first time since the pandemic. So I get to host the opening ceremony. I've never done that before. I'm going to do it with Mike Tirico. I have to learn, like, 700 nations and fun facts about each of them. So... I'll be hitting the books, but I'm really excited. Wow. And the opening ceremony, because Tokyo is 13 hours ahead, so the opening ceremony, it'll be carried Friday night like we always do, but it's actually going to be on live. It's going to be on during Today Show hours in the U.S. Oh, wow. So, yeah, so we'll carry it live. That's incredible. And have you been yeah. to Tokyo before, or is this your first time? It's not my first time. I went briefly back when I was the White House correspondent in, like, 2009 or something. I went on a White House trip. But those, you know, when you go as a White House reporter, you just kind of go from, like, hotel room to conference room to hotel room. And I remember, actually, when we got to Tokyo, the hosts are always so nice. They want to make you comfortable. And they would have food set up for all the traveling press and the traveling staff. And I'll never forget, we got to Tokyo, and they had this whole spread, and it was like hot dogs. <laughs> because they were like, well, that's obviously what Americans would want to eat. Well, 
That's our own fault. And they weren't because, wrong. I no. have to say, they were delicious. That's our own fault. That's all we show is hot dogs and hamburgers and stuff like that. We don't show them I fancy know. food. Um, so, and also, congratulations, uh, seven years married. What, did you do anything fun? Yeah. Well, you know, we had a big hot date. It was like a Monday. We went out, um, and I know you'll appreciate this, with because uh, you have crazy hours, too. We went out, at, I swear, it was 5 p.m., which, yeah. in New York City, if you want to eat at 5 p.m., you can get a reservation anywhere. Right. <laughs> so we, we uh, had a nice little date, and... It's been great, seven years. I have to say, it's been a lot of togetherness during the pandemic. I'm actually right now in my husband's office, which is a nice way of saying a closet. And he's been here on the phone doing rolling conference calls like 15 hours a day. And I come home from work and he's sitting here and the bathroom is right here. Like this is the bathroom door and sometimes you know, in days of the pandemic when I was, like, just wishing he had an office to go to, I would just, like, flush the toilet when I knew that he, <laughs> when I knew that he was talking so that I felt like that would maybe encourage him to go find some office space. But um, so if you hear a toilet flush, it's just revenge. He's getting a retribution. Wow. What a loving couple you both are. <laughs> um, I knew you'd like that. Yeah, yeah, it's fantastic.